Frazzled with Rob. Welcome to Frazzled with Rob with special guest Pete the Pirate. Hey, how you doing? Today our special guest is Senor Dickerson. Welcome to Frazzled. Thanks for having me. So, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about how you got here to Cyprus. Uh, well, um, I this is my eighth year teaching, and I spent the first four years teaching at West Jordan Middle School. So, uh, I taught Spanish, uh, Latinos in Action, and I also taught dual immersion at um, West Jordan Middle School. So, I like how you're actually looking at the puppet during this. <laughs> Where else am I supposed to look? <laughs> we'll fool this audience. They'll think that, you're really talking to the That's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what's the difference for you between uh, junior high and high school? Um, I feel like there's there's a few differences. In high school, I don't feel like the the behavior problems are, are like big in, in class. You know what I mean? I see there's definitely more like sloughing and things like that. Um, however, in junior high, I do feel that the kids, at least the way that I teach, the kids are more, um, they don't have as many inhibitions, right? So they're they're willing to be more silly and um, engage that way. Whereas I feel like in high school, sometimes people think they're too cool for what I'm doing. And so I have to kind of break those barriers. So there's some things you actually like better about the junior high. Yeah, there's a few things I like better, but they're both good. Now, uh, you were a pirate yourself. I sure was. So tell, tell us about your time as a, as a pirate. Um, so I graduated in 2006. And um, when I went to Cyprus, I played on the basketball team my freshman and sophomore year. Um, I even played with Coach Trey. We were on the team together. Um, I, I stopped playing basketball after my sophomore year, and I did swimming with my friends. Um, and then I kind of did tennis as a joke because I wasn't doing basketball anymore. And then I ended up being a tennis coach when I came here. So, and that's no joke. That is no joke, <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed it. And actually Mr. Euchre was my coach. Huh? So it's been pretty cool to have him as um, one of my assistant coaches for the last couple of years with the boys and girls. Um, I actually had a good group of friends. I met my wife here. We were in choir together. Um, we also were in, I think, like AP Lit. So what what are some of your hobbies? Um, I love I love sports. I don't feel like I get to play them a whole lot um, other than with tennis. When I coach tennis, I get to play with the students a lot. And so oh, I do like sports. I actually do like doing um, like media stuff. So um, I've done like with my classes, I've, I've made videos of like, I wouldn't say they're animated. They're more like storyboards like that go to the next slide and stuff. But I like uh, spending time with my family. I'm going to uh, name someone here. And you tell us a word that describes them in Spanish. Okay. <clears throat> Nakia. Nakia? Armstrong. Oh. Yeah, Nakia, he knows who you I are. I was like, yes, I was like, Nakia. Okay, Nakia. Um, simpatica. Mm. Uh, Kirby. Kirby. Fantastico. Oh, fantastico. Good <laughs> word. I can figure that one out. Right. Uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Moore. Josh Moore. Josh Moore. Cool, cool. Inteligente. Oh, loco. Oh, oh, oh loco. loco. Okay, loco. inteligente. Inte uh, okay, you pick. <laughs> you vote, audience. Submit your vote, whether he's a loco or, or inteligente. inteligente. Oh, you also do some coaching here at Cyprus. Uh -huh. uh, tell us uh, kind of your experience of coaching and, and how that's gone for you. Um, so when I first got here, I actually, I've actually wanted to work at Cyprus. I don't know if you remember, but when I was first getting out of college, I reached out to you to see if there were any job openings, and, and there weren't at the time. So I wanted to come to Cyprus, and I always thought like coaching tennis would be really cool. So when I got here, I knew that the tennis jobs were already like taken, but I was in the middle of my master's program, um, and when I saw that the tennis job had opened up for the boys' tennis, um, I asked Shanae if I would love to do it, but if they could find someone to kind of do it for the, that season, and then I would love to take it the next season just because I was finishing my master's. And um, she said that would probably work out. And so then 
Um, uh, Melissa Tuckett, she came and asked me if I wanted to do the girls' team as well, and I was like, I've never coached girls' sports before. Like, I'll, let me talk to my wife about this. And so we talked about it, and um, it, and we decided, yeah, let's do it. And it actually has been a really great experience to coach the girls. And we even we won region the region championship with uh, the girls first time in school history. And so I'm actually really glad I, glad I got to take that job and I did that. Yeah, that was impressive. That was last. That was last year. That was last year. Yes, uh, an impressive win for sure. Oh yeah, it was. It was. We all thought we weren't going to win because the first day with COVID, it messed up West Jordan's lineup, which then put Granger at a better chance of winning. And so, going into the second day of the tournament, it looked like we were not going to win. We needed to have two uh, Granger get upset twice, and everyone had to win their matches for us. And that's exactly what happened. So, um, it was actually really cool to see that happen. So, y- you teach Spanish. So, how that's do you think saying. that impacts you as a teacher? With uh, we have four. You know, 40-something percent of our students are um, Latina, Latino. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that helps you in your relationships or in in relating with uh, the students here at at Cyprus? Um, I think the big thing is being able to speak Spanish with them. Um, I do have some students, like in my freshman success class, who mostly just speak Spanish, right? And so being able to sit down and talk with them specifically about their classes and help them feel more comfortable um, in school and help, help them feel that they have me as a resource. I'm also, I was also able to, you know, as a missionary, when I was with going into people's homes and see things about their culture. So I'm able to understand a little bit more about their culture when they tell me about things that are going on in their home. Those are things that I saw as well. And so um, I hope for them that they feel like they, they can see me as a resource and as a good person that they can come talk to and they feel comfortable with. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, really good to be able to relate to. Uh, we're, we're trying really hard this year to reach out to our Spanish-speaking families. Yeah. So uh, the more we have staff members who, who can speak or look like those who go to school here, I think it helps connect them to the school. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What are your, some of your future goals? What, what would you like to kind of do in the next stages of your career? Um, I... I, I, I love being able to teach uh, with Spanish. I also, I've, I've, this is the first year I've done AVID, and I actually really love doing AVID as well and being able to teach strategies for learning, um, things like that. I actually, I have thought about becoming an instructional coach just because for my master's program, I did instructional design and educational technology, and I loved developing um I love developing like with our prototype for, that we did for the um, Utah foster care system to help people become certified to be foster care parents. I had kind of helped develop some of that curriculum there for them. I also I just love being able to see how how we we can teach more effectively and how people learn. And so I like I like actually I, I've done some PDs here at school and I love doing I love doing those things. And so I've, those are some things that have crossed my mind. Um, but then I also know doing that sometimes I would have to go away from like coaching, which I love doing coaching for tennis and I feel like it gets me out there and being with the students in another way. Uh, the main reason I wanted to become a teacher is because I wanted to do something with my life that like made a difference and I enjoyed and I feel like teaching does that and coaching I can do that in a different setting in a different context. So it's everywhere. I don't know. Thanks for joining us here on Frazzled with Rob. It's been Rob and Ryan. Woohoo!